emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Welcome back to uh, part two of the build I'm doing for uh, eModels. That's eModels.co.uk, and it's Meng's uh, 112 scale for GT40 Mark II from 1966. And I'm going to be doing it in this uh, lovely light blue livery. Um, if you've seen the film I'm on, this is the one that's uh, that's featured. So, what? Uh, where did we get to up to last time? So we finished off building up the rear suspension. So we've got calipers which have uh, proper springs in, so there will be uh, some suspension when you get the whole thing together. And the inside of the cockpit and steering rack. I'm determined to break things. These dangly bits, be careful with them. I mean, I haven't broken them yet, but uh, well, by good luck and good management, they flick about all over the place. So I'm trying to keep them up there. Um, anyway, I've done the uh, inside of the cockpit as well. There's a few uh, tubes and things. And completing the last one, a couple of thoughts uh, I've had. Um, when doing the steering rack at the front, the instructions don't give a call out for the colour. And there it is, black brown plastic. I think in uh, hindsight, uh, I think what I would do uh, in the future would be paint these parts here because they are visible, and paint the top of this cover. The rest of it I would leave unpainted, um, just because it's a, it is a little bit sticky with the paint in there. I know it's only fractions of millimetres thick, but I'd say it uh, doesn't make a difference. Uh, so that's where we're up to. So with this part, what we're going to do is move on with construction. So what we're doing is fitting the uh, cab to the underside. Right here there's uh, the bottom part of the front uh, suspension to go on and uh, then it's held down by these seven screws. Is it seven? Yeah, seven screws which are E and then there's a bit of stuff in the back and move on from there. So we'll work through these parts and uh, see how far we get. Okay, so we've got the uh, tubes through the front. So what we need to do now is fit these two brackets. You need to fit them after you've started placing this down because they go, there's a big bracket here that you won't be able to get it round. So I'm going to sort of semi-fit and then we'll see if you can get it needs to fit. So I say, this little spine goes forward and they fit in two here and here. Okay, got a pointy stick to push them up with. Bear with. Okay, they all the way up. And same on this side. Again, with a pointy bit to the front. I'll screw it down a little hold it in place. So. so before we start attaching anything we'll just make sure we get everything through. So we've got these parts fitted like this. We made the two tubes coming out through the front. Okay. And then we Tighten it down with screw E, which is these. Just a sec. I remember we put a little grommet on one of these and uh, it seems to be holding everything apart. I 
you put it in the correct place. Not being a secret, but anyway, in there there's a, a grommet. I'll take a bit to make sure I've got it in the right place. Won't be a sec. Okay, I've had a good look through and two things I uh, found. One, I've been using the wrong pulley cap. Uh, there's a sprue with grey rubber and they have tiny little uh, grommets on there. And the other thing is I think this is pointed to the wrong hole. Because this indicates it should be this hole. I mean that So that's way too small for the screw the whole of the whole thing it's just get in the way. I think it refers to this. Because it fits in there and something will in the future be pushed into the hole and it'll hold it there. It's the same both sides. I thought there was two of these. I think that is what it is. See, that's if it's in the hole there. There's two of them. And then the holes on the back of the uh, See all these are just ordinary screw holes. So they'll butt up two corresponding underneath but these don't have anything on there so I think that's it's two things one I was using the wrong grommet and um, we should be using P10 off the grey rubbery screw uh, rubbery screw rubbery sprue and the other one is, is the instructions are pointing to this hole and not this one which makes much more sense for it so we'll go with that okay so I'll just pause it there get back to where we were before and uh, Let's not screw some things together. We'll be a sec. Okay, so that's got us back to where we were uh, before we investigated the grommets. So, basically, what we're doing now is screwing the top and the bottom parts together. So, I'm going to start. I've got a screw in here. So, there's six others. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And that'll hold it together. So, uh, so I just started that one to hold it in place and I so said we'll get them all in place and then we'll start tightening down. So I'll, uh, I'll just pause it there once I've got all the screws in. So as I say, there's one more in here, and then same down this side. So I'll be back in a second when I've got them all screwed in. Okay, so that's got all the uh, screws down tightly. So that's uh, all sorted out. So next we put on these parts at uh, the back, plus the uh, rear suspension. So these are made up of two parts. This part's just made up silver, and some rubber corrugated hosing, which comes off sprue N, which is lots of soft rubber reaper stuff, some tubes, cushions for the seats, which we'll see later. 
So these will fix onto a hole just here. I don't know whether they're sided yet, but I uh, don't think they are. So they will fit on like so, with a rubber part going down. So just push them on. So screw them on with a little screw D. Okay, we'll start that off by dropping it. Let's get the screw on the top. We'll start on this side. simple. So again we'll do this side. Done. So over the page we simply have back on the camera. Simply have bits in these long arms onto these brackets. So don't uh, stretch it too too much. So put that against the line. Let me uh, point your stick. Snip it off. So you'll need two. So that's times two. Don't 
I keep thinking I'll take those on, but never haven't got around to it. I haven't got around to it yet. Okay. Next of all, we put the top part of the suspension on. So this is made up of this bar, and we need to put the top part of the spring suspension as well, which again plays a lovely red. And they are all held on by these bars. Part on. So this, this bend here is to the front of the car. So it'll fit in like that with this part in the middle there. if it's going through a hole. Okay. Through there. Okay, so this uh, top of the suspension has a point of it as it gets a focus. So this goes to the outside of the car. through but uh, why try and break it. So I'm bar back a bit. suspension with the top half of the uh, 
wrap himself already. Spring thing. Okay, so send me down this side. to make up the springs properly. So basically just leave a those about and lose them. So 
out on the front suspension. So I'll just pause there for a second while I get some bits together for the next part. Okay, so there's the uh, front brake disc assembly. And as I mentioned at the beginning, this is where I got the pieces wrong. So this is the one that had a semicircle cut out for the rear brake. As you can see, I've got the right way around the other one because it didn't have a groove, would fit nicely into this part. They do seem to fit okay either way, but uh, if you want it to be spot on right, it's obviously if you get the numbers because I think these were like number 14 and the other ones were number 4, so obviously they misread. And uh, just thought, oh, they look like a brake caliper, I'll cut those off, and then we're wrong. So, I think the brakes are right around, we just shot there, put it up. off with this is I tell which one this is. So anyway, this is one side. So we've got on the back we have so for black grommet effect. Which is a little bit tight. See there's a flat top which goes in that way around. So, and on the front we have this part which the front wheel will be attached to at some stage. That goes in there. Then we have the brake disc, which again is made up of two parts. We've got the front of the disc and showing the vents. And this part is uh, so it's their silver and gun metal. Place. And then we screw that on with a D screw usually. Let's have a look. Yes, a D screw. Let's just show that uh, ready. So I'll pull two out because we're doing the other side in a sec. Part of the cooling for the uh, the brakes at the front, which I'll fit. It has a rubber tube, which is off the uh, ADM sprue, and um, so we'll uh, work out which which side it goes on, and we'll fit it when we do the other two. So that's one done. Uh, we'll quickly make up the other one.
that all the way up, and then we'll uh, adjust so the wheel will go around. Do it all the way up tight. The wheel doesn't move. So about half a turn back. Pause it there for a sec while we get everything ready. So, again, this part we have fitting the uh, brakes part, this tubing to the front, and it's held on with uh, two B screws, one at the bottom, one at the front, and a C screw from the top. So, what I'll do is I'll start from underneath, put the uh, screws in, and then it'll hold both brace, brake discs in place. And the brakes, calipers, they go to the back, like this, so let's see how we get on. Because it's for steering, you don't want it too tight, but obviously not. So I'll try that. Okay, so from so the steering. So this is why you need to make sure you get the all the points up or down while you're upside down. Up. So again, So, let's 
to get the steering, so this goes over the side and watch it up there. Right-handed. When you're right-handed. Anyway. So let's get started. That hole. As you can see, we've uh, jumped on a bit, so I've fitted the uh, brake drums and everything on this, both sides. Uh, they went overly fiddly, it was just incredibly bad to film. Because basically it's all angles and as you saw when I'm doing this one. Um, but anyway, I've put those both in. Um, I just made the executive decision that it's... Uh, I've turned everything up so it's not going to move. Um, I think we're painting this. It's the uh, steering's not going to work. So if you want the steering to work, don't paint the stuff in there. There's never the intention to have this uh, to work. The other problem I've had, I've fitted these two parts of the front here, which are uh, intakes to cool the brakes. These are the uh, tubes that theoretically are supposed to bend around there and then built up against this black bit here. Like in this picture here. So nice and bendy and around. Which, if it was like the stuff of the model, which was uh, proper uh, convoluted uh, tubing, uh, but this just isn't flexible enough, it just collapses. So, again, I've uh, had to make a decision to. Uh, leave that off because basically it wasn't working at all. Like you get it to butt up against there but it wouldn't fit on here. Sorry, butt up against there but it wouldn't fit on here. And basically just a bit through here was flat so it wasn't round or anything. Uh, so I'm not sure how that was supposed to work but uh, it didn't. So I've uh, just fitted the parts that will go on and uh, unfortunately I'll have to continue with uh, without that tubing there. But you probably won't be able to see it when I see it so all together. Um, it's supposed to look like this, but this was never going to do that. Far too thick and uh, not flexible enough. So, we move on to the front radiator. So, I'll, do, I'll make all the bottom bit first and then the top bit, which has some PE on it. It's supposed to be fit this part. I'll do that a uh, bit last. Okay, sorry, I was making this bit. I thought I'd press record, but I didn't. So basically what we've done is fitted this black part in here. The screw is pointed upwards. And there's red bits to push in. And on the side, we've fitted this part in. Basically just push fit into a couple of holes here 
around these two. Just fit in a couple of slots at the back. If it's very snug, so I haven't had to glue anything yet. And I was just working out which way around these two bits, which fits in like that. So I'll put those in next. Okay, it's got little fans. So they have two lugs on the bottom, which go into those two holes there. And that, and one on the other side. There we go. And on the top of these is again two smaller holes, which the fan covers come into. And they go like the bracket effect to the side. goes on easy. There you go, so that's the fans in. I you'll see the back of it. Left that in the car. So I'll just get a bit sorted out for doing the PE part and uh, be back in a sec. Okay, so this is the uh, PE sheet, so So it has clear plastic sheet over the top and blue on the back. And so it's, there's no cage okay, around the outside attaching it to the main part of the fret. So we can either peel it back and ping it off. Holds the spare tire on, some buckles for the seat belts, and these events at the back of the, uh, the car for much later.
So it's because they're fairly thick. Photo etch. And that will fit over. sides and this bit will fold underneath and we'll glue that on there so it all folds over okay so I'll get a bit sorted out and we'll be back okay so it's got the uh, photo etch round basically what I did was start with one side up to this part snug along the edge make sure that this part is in the middle all the way up and then down to this part again make sure the edge is on Sorted out, probably set. Okay, it's ready to do some glue. So we've got some uh, CA glue in the bottom of here. Toothpick to apply, and we've got some zip kicker CA accelerator. So basically, you can dab it on with uh, all these micro applicators, a little in the top, and dab it, it makes the uh, CA glue dry straight away. First, yeah, let's get some underneath. glue under this part as well. Sorry, I'll just put it on the camera. Can plant it under there. So 
tight on that. A little bit of a gap. So that is the front grill on there. So we'll leave that to uh, dry before we mess around anything anymore with it. So I'm going to tighten it up a bit. Like in a sec. Okay, next what we do is fit the radiator to the front of the car. So what it does, this part here goes into that hole there. And these two wires through. Like that. And these two little bars show where you're in. And on the back here, two little holes which match up to the uh, black with the bit we had before. And they're screwed in with screws. So I did find this on the floor, so we have it uh, screwed in tight. Silver these eight, these of eight. Don't think it's any particular way around. They should fit between this log and that. side as well. So that is the front done. So put the PE on there. That's where it's stick out the front. So the front brake and wheels and everything suspension all fitted. The only thing that didn't go was the tubing. So just wouldn't conform at all. There we go. So that's where we're up to for this part. Okay, so as usual, pop along to eModels, see that's eModels.co.uk, go on the website, um, if you can't find it on there, drop them an email, they'll see whether they can get it for you. Um, very, very good service. Um, so pop along to them and uh, get yourself this kit. It's uh, apart from a uh, couple of goose I've done, which is basically going to be uh, right this the wrong way around. Um, just thinking, can I swap over? I might swap them over, but anyway, well, uh, I'll show you that in the next one if I do. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, in the part two. Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, pop along to uh, see eModels, and I'll get you sorted out with all that if you need. Thanks very much. Bye. eModels.co.uk
make something awesome.